Hey there gorgeous, Sabrina here. Today we're doing a look and a review with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This one right here. Many of you have been requesting this one over and over here lately, so I finally broke down and I got it just for you. First, I'll share with you what I think about it. If you want to skip straight to the tutorial, then you can go ahead to that number right there. I will simply start off by saying that I did not expect a lot out of this palette. I had some qualms about getting it for quite a while, simply because I have not ever tried a Too Faced palette that I really, really loved. There's always been something off about Too Faced eyeshadow palettes in the past for me, so I didn't really have high expectations for this eyeshadow palette. However, I want to say that I am very pleasantly surprised by the pigmentation of the eyeshadows in this palette and the color range that you get. There are only some minor dislikes that I have about this palette. Number one dislike, I do not like that they put this little piece of flimsy whatever in here to show the names on the eyeshadows. There's no names on the actual box. There's no names on the back of the palette. That's it. That's how you're going to know the names of the eyeshadows. And you know what? I'm going to lose this little guy or it's going to get smushed or I don't know. The other part about this palette that didn't win very many points for me is that the portion up here in the lid that says chocolate bar and has the mirror in it, it's already starting to come out on my palette. And I don't know if any of you have experienced that, but to me, that's just poor quality design. Besides those two minor little flaws that I want to mention for you, I will say that the shade range is very impressive, and I like that they mixed in shimmers and mattes. You get a good variety to choose from. And the tin, I mean the tin is like, yeah, we can travel with that little guy. So the look that I created for you today uses the browns in this palette as well as one of my most favorite eyeshadows in this palette and it's Candied Violet, that purple shade that is in here. The Candied Violet shade is a little strange because when you go to apply it by itself, it doesn't really show up as well as I feel like it should. So I'm gonna show you some application techniques in today's tutorial to get that color to be really vibrant and strong the way that it's meant to be. Let me show you how to recreate today's look. We're gonna start this look off with a colored paint pot. This is Max Half Wild. This is a limited edition paint pot, so you can't find it now, unfortunately. But Maybelline Color Tattoo makes one in painted purple that is very similar. And we're applying this onto the lid below the crease. I'm using the MAC 242 brush to do this. This is gonna create a beautiful base for the color we're gonna be using next. And that is Candied Violet from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm also going to be applying this wet, so I've packed it onto the brush, I've sprayed it with Max Fix Plus, and I'm applying it onto the lid. The reason that I applied it like this is to help it to become more vibrant. When you layer it over a purple base and you apply it wet, not only are you helping to eliminate fallout because this shade is packed with glitter, but you're also making that shade a lot more vibrant. If you apply this shade on its own without any of these techniques, it doesn't look anything like this. It actually looks a lot different. So I feel like this brings out the true beauty of the eyeshadow. Next shade we're using is Salted Caramel and we're applying this into the crease. I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush to apply this eyeshadow. And this is a very big fluffy brush so it's gonna give us a beautiful wash of color in the crease, making it 10 times easier to blend later on. Really not focusing on blending at this point. This is simply getting the color into the crease and we will be blending more next. Taking the Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm going in with the shade called Semi Sweet. And I'm gonna use this to blend Candied Violet into Salted Caramel so you can't see where one eyeshadow ends and the other one begins. Due to the magic of editing and because I wanted to save time, a good portion of this process has been cut out from the video simply because I spend a good eight to 10 minutes here just blending that candied violet shade into salted caramel. So just so you know, what looks like only took me two to three minutes, in actuality, it took at least 10 minutes for this process. So do remember that when you are creating this look, the more time you spend on it, the better blended effect you'll get. And to blend out the harsher edges of Salted Caramel, I'm gonna go in with Max Blanc Type and the 217 brush and go along the edges to create that gradient effect so you can't tell where the edges of Salted Caramel are. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade called Triple Fudge. And I'm using the Makeup Geek Soft Dome brush to work this into the outer V of the eye. 
couple different ways that you can do this. If you want to stick with this type of look, you definitely can. But I would also like to use a black eyeshadow in this step. And you can. You can pull black eyeshadow from any other collection that you may have. It would be perfect here as well. Now that that's completed, I'm going to go back with some more of my blending shade and clean up the outer V area. And when you spend a lot of time on blending, that's what you get. As an optional step, I'm going to take triple fudge and apply that to the outer half of the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take semi-sweet and apply this onto the inner half of the lower lash line. Next up, I'm going to fill in the brows. I'm using my Laura Mercier Brow Defining Gel in Fair. And then I'm going to curl the lashes and apply a little bit of mascara in preparation for dun -da -da -da, my falsies, which are from Inky Minky. These are doe-eyed. Beautiful, fun, flirty pair with extra flair. <laughs> I just made that up. And those are the completed eyes. Aren't they gorgeous? I love the color combination here. For my face, I have a sample here from Benefit that I got from Sephora recently. It's called Fake Up and it's in number one light. So I'm applying this as I would a normal concealer. Pretty good at covering dark circles. I was actually very impressed by it. And I'm using the Sigma Tapered Brush to blend this into the skin. Next step is foundation. This is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is a number N115. And I'm applying that with the Makeup Geek Stippling Brush. Great brush for an airbrushed light effect. I'm going to set the face with a little bit of Makeup Forever's HD setting powder. Just a little bit on the T-zone. And here's another sample from Sephora. This is Bare Minerals Ready Bronzer in the Skinny Dip. And I'm lightly applying this onto my face with a big fluffy brush, simply because I'm wearing a little bit of self-tanner right now, so I don't want my face to be lighter than the rest of me. And we gotta stop for an Alanis Morissette jam session. You know you do it too. For my blush, I'm using Bridal Rose from the Sephora Pantone Color of the Year palette and applying this lightly onto the apples of the cheeks. For my lips, I'm using Max Hue, which is almost gone. So I'm going to have to use a lip brush to apply this. Beautiful light pink shade. It doesn't compete too much with the eyes. Let's the eyes do all the talking in this look, which is exactly what we want. One more thing that I don't like about this palette. It smells like chocolate. I just cut out all sugar about three weeks ago. I'm not eating sugar because my goal this year is to see my abs, to finally see my abs. So I'm reducing my sugar and my body fat and all that to be able to do that. And sitting here having to smell this little sucker is mm, torture. Hope you enjoyed this look today and let me know if you have picked up this palette and how you like it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Are you looking for new ways to wear your eyeshadows? Discover the only website online with pictures of combinations using the eyeshadows featured in today's look and so many more. Head on over to myeyeshadowconsultant.com and get inspired today.